Today you'll see two neat dresses that fit amazing. One of them is actually meant to be made with woven fabric, but I've been cheeky and made it in a neat. Look how pretty! Hi sewing friends, I'm Karina from LiftingPinsAndNeedles.com. Welcome to this channel that is all about sewing, limitless sewing. And I can't swipe the smile of my face because I am so, so, so happy to share the dresses I've made. I've been wanting to make these for a very long time. Now these are patterns I have already made in the past, which is always a real big treat for me. I don't usually get to come back and repeat patterns. Usually when I do, it's been like a year or even longer time in between. And just the fact that I go and do that again makes you really know that I really like these patterns. I have been wearing these for ages since I made them in the original time period when they were released. Both of these dresses are from Each to Stitch. I have to say, and they agree, <laughs> these are one of my favorite dresses to wear. The ones I made originally, I have worn and worn and worn and worn. And it's time to make them again because, you know, fabric does expire when you wear things and wash them as much as we do. Uh, it's not going to last forever. As people who make our own clothes, we might have a different mindset to clothes and how often we wear them. Compared to people that don't sew, I've heard some people say that they wear a garment only once or twice. They buy them and then they just wear them once or twice and that's it. And I just can't get my head around that because I tend to keep my clothes around for as long as they last and wear them and wear them and wear them. The first dress I want to show you is the Celeste dress from Itch to Stitch. You could call it Celeste. This pattern was released initially in 2020 and during this year it was updated to include the full size range from 00 to 40 US and it's got cup sizes from A to double D so that's awesome. I already have a full pattern review and video tutorial about how to make this amazing dress. This is one of them, you can't really see it so I'm showing you some images. Originally I made two, they're made for woven fabrics. It's a really really fun dress to put together, not the type of dress that you put together in like an hour for sure. There are plenty of pieces there, some of them are interfaced, there's a center front seam, there's a v-neckline, the front is finished with a facing that's interfaced, there are princess seams that come from the shoulders front and back. It's not empire but it's a little higher than the waist with, with slight gathers in the center right there, it's not very very gathered. There's pockets on one of the skirt pieces and it's such a beautiful design, every time I wear this dress I feel amazing it's so so beautiful it fits so well I hope you don't get put off by patterns that have a lot of seams that means that you can achieve a really good fit each seam means you can customize little areas to fit your body much better sway back your bust with the princess seams I mean you can get a really good fit in a design like this when you have designs that just have side seams and no darts it's so much harder to get a really good fit because there's not many seams that you can adapt or play with you know so in this case you can get a really good fit the only fitting changes i made to this dress when i made it in a woven fabric as per the original was lower the bust point by five eighths of an inch i have a video on the channel that shows you how to do that when you have princess seams so i'll link that down below if that's something that you think you need to do it's definitely something i need to do when i look at a pattern that has a side bust start i know i have to lower it so just because there's a princess seam it doesn't mean you can just ignore it and sew it you still might need to lower the fullest part of the curve so that it fits you well you don't end up with a lot of excess material and like hollow here okay i just went under there and told them to leave and they flew away <laughs> I don't know if they get it but I was like go away go away and they, they left so that is basically the only change I needed to make to my dress I did make a muslin back then I was very happy and I made these two dresses one that's got a little hack in the center so much fun and it was always in the back of my mind that I wanted to make this dress again in a knit now this is a little bit controversial I would never go ahead and make a pattern designed for wovens in a knit as a first time try for that pattern. I would always want to see how it looks on me with a woven fabric, make sure I'm really happy with the fit with woven before I even think about trying to make it on a knit fabric. I think making it on a knit fabric is sort of like a hack or something like an experiment because you really don't know how it's going to turn out. Now one rule for me if the design for wovens is semi-fitted, has nice shaping with darts and princess seams and all that, I would consider making that in a knit and I wouldn't size down. I would just make it as is and then maybe trying it on, I would take a little larger seam allowance on some seams and tweak it from there. Let's say I had a woven design that's sort of more boxy or loosely fitting, 
not many dads going on I would not use a neat fabric to make that because then it would just look like a sack so <laughs> this is why I think the Celeste dress is a perfect candidate to make it in a neat fabric because it's already got a semi fitted style it's got good shaping at the bust the waist the hips I can go ahead and make it in a neat fabric use the same size and just see and go from there so it's a dream come true making it in a neat it actually simplifies a lot of the processes a lot of the steps it was way faster to put together there are seams here done with the serger when you look at the original construction with the facings this v neckline has a center seam here on the front it has a really specific technique you don't need to do that with a neat fabric i didn't think i needed to interface a facing and do all these steps when i can get the same look because this center front seam doesn't have shape in it it's, it is a straight seam so basically there are four ways i simplified this pattern to make it into a knit. One of them was to cut this smaller piece here on the fold. All you need to do for that is fold away the seam allowance on the center of that pattern and put it on the fold. So that means I just have a regular V on the fold, which would be much easier to do. The second way I'm simplifying this is I'm not gonna do a facing. Nope, <laughs> the way I'm gonna finish this V-neck line is with a V-neck band. And I have made a whole series on this channel about sewing V-neck lines from woven to knit, how to finish them in different ways with binding, with facing, woven, knits, all of that. I'll leave that link down below. But there is one specific video I made about how you can put a V neckline on a knit garment that you already like, that you know how it fits, and how you can put a V neckband on there. In that video, I have a free neckband template that you can print out and use and I show step by step on how to measure your neckline how to measure that neckband piece so that it fits there you can use the neckband pieces of another pattern maybe or you can get the ones that I provide and just put it on there and it's a great finish no need to do the facings nothing like that and it'll look really neat one other thing that I need to do is to trim the seam allowance away from this V neckline so I'm showing you here how I'm trimming it away from the front I just pinned it there and I've trimmed it after cutting it. I don't want to cut into my pattern pieces. So I just make the modifications on the fabric. You're only seeing the front there, but I trimmed away the seam allowance for the back as well so that the shoulder seams match. And why do I want to do that? Look at this depth. This is the original depth right here. Consider that I'm going to add a neckband that is going to add a bit of height to it. So I don't want to end up with a V neckline like this. <laughs> That's why I just took away the seam allowance and put my neckband on there and then I'll get a nice V. It won't be deep, it won't be high, it'll be just right. The other way I'm simplifying this make is by not putting the pockets on the side. It's really easy to put together type of pocket but I thought with my lightweight fabric it was going to sag, it was not going to have a really nice look like it does in the woven and it's totally possible to eliminate that. So just let me show you how you can eliminate the pocket if you want to make life easier for yourself. These are the two pieces for the side panels. So this is the one that has the pocket facing and all of that. That's the one that will go behind it to form the pocket. So in order to eliminate that pocket there and just transform this into one piece, you just need to do one thing and it's so simple. For this piece that goes on the bottom, this slanted edge, all you need to do is fold back the seam allowance. That will just make it be like the pocket facing is on there. So fold down by half an inch the seam allowance. Once that seam allowance is folded, just find the notches there. There'll be a notch on the side seam with a circle and up here another notch. They are slanted because this has a slanted shape. And all you have to do is match that up. So you fold it away the seam allowance, you just match it up to those notches and voila, you have eliminated that pocket. Also, also there you will see a notch that needs to match the notch there. So make sure to match those up too, but everything will match. Just match up the notches, pin it together. Now you will just have one side piece that will attach to the front things that go on the center of the dress and you won't have a pocket there. And it's an option and you don't need to destroy your pattern pieces to do so. All you need to do is fold the seam allowance, match the notches on the sides, pin it together and you're done. Now comes the part about having fun with the design of a dress because I know how I'm gonna construct it. I've already had a good thought about that. But my chosen fabric is really special. It's got stripes. 
they are horizontal but they're not really like really neat stripes it looks like someone painted it on and they're not symmetrical in their colors either so i'm showing you here what the stretch is this is a rayon spandex 95 percent rayon five percent spandex super stretchy fabric the stretch horizontal and vertical is basically the same so that means that i can cut some pieces with the stripes going across and others with the stripes going down all the pieces have the stripes going down are against the grain although there is no grain on knit fabrics but it goes the other way compared to where the selvage is i don't really like horizontal stripes on things i just cannot have an aversion a really big one but i can put them into small areas of my dress and you'll see that when i show you the dress each to stitch is having a black friday sale a lot of indie brands are it started yesterday tuesday and it goes on to monday the 29th the sale is site-wide all the patterns all of them are 25 percent off and all you need to do to get the discount is type in the code thanks 2021 when you check out and then everything will be discounted so if you have been watching my videos i have so many about each to stitch patterns it's a really nice time to get them for a lot less 25 percent off i will leave you my affiliate link down below and also my playlist full of each to stitch pattern makes all the videos have a lot of the sewing steps in there all the tricky bits so you can have a lot of success making your own garments i'm a big fan of each to stitch i think the patterns are outstanding the fit is always so good the cup sizes over the last 18 months kenneth has worked to bring patterns from 00 to 40 that goes up to a hip of 62 or 63 inches so it's a really good size range so go and have a look get your patterns for a lot less as i said i do have a full video that's very comprehensive and also a blog post that's very comprehensive about my woven celesti dresses highly recommend you'll be super satisfied with your dresses and let's see my neat one i'm so excited to share i've been holding this fabric for about a year it looks like it's been painted on it looks like watercolors you see the stripes are not very straight and they're faded in some areas there's pinks browns grays black purple so nice so i made my front piece you saw that it's cut on the fold there the original would have a center front seam this has a horizontal stripe there I left that little stripe there knowing that would be the one uniting to this piece which is the front skirt that has slight gathering there i sewed the gathers on like i do any other pattern that has gathers i did two rows of gathering sewed it on nothing different there very small area to deal with and then that makes your center front piece your center front piece is composed of one on the top and one on the bottom and then you have princess seams coming from the shoulders now these side front pieces i cut them with the stripes going down and you see they're not symmetrical there's just the fabric was just different everywhere it's just super interesting to look at and then here is my neckband i really wanted the v to stand out against this pink purple so i made sure to cut the v portion in a dark area and those little things there to match that it was very intentional took me ages to cut this dress <laughs> didn't take me long to sew it but the cutting it took a bit of thought for rayon spandex i don't like top stitching the bands down i just think if you press them well they'll just lie flat and nice and i that's all i do there you can see that these seams here meet the princess seams front and back and then at the back it's more simple there's a center back originally it is cut on the fold so i've made no changes there and then my princess seams my side back pieces right there you can't really see the seams that much because of this print so it's not really evident that there are seams in here i would have really hated having the stripes going across oh my gosh i can't tell you how much i dislike horizontal stripes but i think in this part they look really pretty when you see it on you'll see my bust is around there so this darker area is at the fullest part of my bust which was also very intentional love it it's so nice i've got a twin needle hem there's my shoulder seam i have it stabilized the reason why is because i have a sleeve there it's a short sleeve of the pattern original there is the v neckband there is a seam there with the gathers here are the side front pieces goes all the way down no pockets and at the back it looks like that now what if you want to make this dress with a long sleeve this pattern doesn't have a long sleeve it's got a short sleeve you can lengthen it I have a video about the Antrim dress also from each to stitch that shows you how to lengthen a sleeve it's very easy give it a go test it on scrap fabric and see how you like it but it does really work i'll also link that down below if you want to make yourself a neat celeste dress for winter just make the sleeve longer 
So I've got resources on the channel to show you how to do that, to just make your patterns go further, you know? So I can't tell you how much I love this dress. I've shown a picture to one of my friends and she told me it looked like a Caribbean sunset. I've never seen one of those. Maybe they look purple. Keep your eyes open. Next week I'll have some videos and I have styled this dress with another garment I'm sharing in a few more days. So you'll see this dress again. I'm so, so happy with it. Let's see it on just out there under that tree where the parrots hang out. <laughs> this is my Celeste dress from Itch to Stitch, originally designed for wovens and I have two of those. This is a rayon spandex and I've made a size 14 with a C cup. The stripes look like they've been painted on. They aren't the same or follow any pattern which makes it a really interesting look. A closer you can see this seam is slightly higher than the natural waist but it's not empire at all and the center skirt piece has light gathers. I don't have pockets on the sides, the original does have pockets but I think Think that is a good design feature for wovens. I don't think with this rayon spandex they would have looked very nice at all. I love all the seams at the back, it's such good shaping. Now up closer instead of a facing that you would use with the woven version I did a v-neck band instead and I was very intentional with where I cut my neck band pieces with the colors there. Here you can see the front princess seams they start at the shoulders, it gives a really great bust fit, the C cup. I've used the original short sleeves that this pattern has. Up closer you can see at the shoulders where the princess seams meet front and back it's a really clean intersection there i love my two woven versions i really wanted to have a go at making it in a neat i love this one the colors is so comfortable it's the same great fit the sewing was a little bit different to make it work in a neat and i'm just so in love with the colors here and the look love it i'm just so happy with it I really really recommend this dress it's so pretty it looks good on everyone if you go to the itch to stitch facebook page type in there celeste dress or celeste dress you can see a lot of photos everyone looks so good it's such a good pattern and i'm so happy i made it in a neat fabric i'll make it again in a woven eventually i mean this is so comfortable i wear it all the time as well but i wanted to give you some tips and just show you how a woven dress can be made in a neat fabric sometimes not the other way around not the other way around if you have a pattern made for neat fabric with negative ease do not make it in a woven it's just not going to work even if you size up it's just not going to work but when it's like this made for wovens you can make it in a neat sometimes with a bit of sewing modifications just to make that work and it's totally doable the second dress I've revisited is the talent dress from Itch to Stitch. It's got a double L and a double N and I made this dress originally in February 2020. I made two of them. I've worn them and worn them and worn them and actually one of them that is made in a rayon spandex is so worn out. It's just so worn out. It's a pyjama now. It's just not suitable to wear outside anymore because of how much I've worn and washed it. The ITY version I made has lasted longer because it is polyester so it's going to last and last and last. Different to the rayon spandex which can start getting little bubbles and peeling and losing the color, you know. I also have a video about this pattern with a full review. Because it is an older pattern, it has the older sizing from 00 to 20. It is made for neat fabric so it has a regular bust and a full bust option. Back then I made a size 14 with a regular bust. And let me tell you how good I feel when I wear this dress. It's just so pretty. It's got princess seams front and back. It's got a center front seam, which is actually just a design feature. There's no shaping there. So when I make my own dresses, I eliminate that seam. I just fold the seam allowance away. And the center back, that's the one that you put on the fold. But I make a seam on that one just because it's easier to place on the fabric. There's side front pieces, side back pieces, princess seams, goes in at the waist, then it flares out towards the hem. It's not a full full skirt. So you might be wondering why am I raving about the princess seams on a neat dress? Why can't the neat dress just have a front and a back on the fold and achieve the same thing? Well you actually can't. So if you sew swing style dresses you know designed for neat fabrics that just have a front and a back on the fold sure you'll see the shape go in at the waist and then flare out towards the hip but that means that there's no bust shaping there and if you have a larger bust what happens is that the fabric hangs from your bust down it just hangs you know it's not a really nice fit at the waist at all 
but when you have princess seams it's different you know all the shaping for your bust is there it goes in at the waist there's no excess you won't have sway back issues because of all the seams at the back and then you get that re really nice flare at the skirt which i think is amazing I just really love the fit of this dress. It's so nice. Now, the princess seams, you might think, I've just mentioned that for my Celeste dress for Wolvens, I had to lower the bust point. You don't do the same adjustments for knit fabrics because this design is for really stretchy knits. You 50 to 75% stretch. You need vertical stretch as well. So if you just start taking flat pattern measurements to your patterns made for knits, you might end up making adjustments that you don't need. So my approach to neat styles, if I really want to check the feet, is to make a muslin. And I did make a muslin, really short little top from scraps back then, to make sure that the princess seam curve was going to be correct for me. Because just looking at it, it looked high. But remember, the dress stretches down also. So it ended up being a perfect fit for me. I didn't need to lower the bust point. I just had to sew up my dresses. No fitting adjustments. All I did was lengthen the skirt pieces by two inches just to have them hit above the knee just because I'm taller. This pattern has long sleeves in the original design and I've never actually used the long sleeves. Look, it's, yeah, I want short sleeves or sleeveless and I wear that year round. It's just more comfortable, although I do make the occasional long sleeve because I am sewing in the middle of summer right now. I wanted mine sleeveless again. No modifications to the armhole. Remember there are princess seams. You're not going to have gaping here. All I did was add some binding. I've always lowered the scoop neckline. It is a scoop neckline originally. I just made mine a little lower. And when I was sewing and I was almost about to put on my neckband, which would have been super easy, would have taken me two seconds, I decided to make a V neckline instead. Maybe influenced by the fact that I just made the other dress because I made these in succession. I thought, you know, I'll just do it quickly. So I'll just show you what I did at the sewing table out of the blue, how I quickly modified it into a V neckline and how I modified my V neckband to be wider just because I'd taken it down pretty deep because the scoop was already low. So let's just see, <laughs> maybe you want to try that. This is my front neckline. This is the center back and here's the neckline. The shoulder seam is there and this is the center front and I'd pinned everything. It's folded in half, of course. I was about to measure, not from the edge, but a little within the seam allowance I was going to use. So at the seam line, how much to cut for my neckband. But then last minute, I decided to make this a V. So from here, which was my original scoop, I just went down about one and a half inches and then just joined the line to meet there. So it's like a curve, but it will end up in a V in the front. So this will transform what I was measuring and now I'm going to measure from here. My measurement is going to be slightly longer and this is the measurement I'm going to use to calculate how long my V neck band is going to be. Now this scoop was already deep to begin with and I deepened it even more so my V neck band is going to be a tad wider than the ones I usually make just to bring this up a little bit. The sewing technique will be the same it's just that my pattern piece will become a little bit wider. Okay here is an example of a neckband piece, any that you might have. I just folded mine lengthwise in half and split it. So I have one half of that one there and the other one there. And in between, I put some extra paper and added an inch. In essence, this is gonna make my neckband half an inch wider than the original one that I have. So I'm just gonna tape this one there and then my neckband will be wider. So in this case, this neckband had a finished width of three quarters. Now it's gonna have a finished width of one and a quarter inches. Now I'm just gonna fix this point here so that it does end in a point. I'll just get my ruler, align it to one of these slants and just keep going until I reach half of that point where I added and then over here. And this is gonna be the new shape. So if you compare it to an original and this one, you can really tell how much wider it is. Although when it's finished, it's only going to be about half an inch wider. And the way you sew it, everything will be the same. So you see, again, I used my neckband templates. I keep them handy because I can just grab them when I need them. Do my measurements, measure my neckline of the garment I'm making and then calculate that by 0.8 or by 0.85 or whatever the type of fabric needs and then just measure my neckband piece and see how long I need to make it every time. For this one, because the scoop was already deep and the V made it even deeper, I wanted to add some length up here with a wider neckband and that's why I made that change. Super easy, my neckband turned out to be one and a quarter inches instead of 
three quarter. Tropical print, so pretty. You know, I love my navy blue backgrounds or black backgrounds. And this one is a bit more subdued. It is tropical, but it's not so bright. You know, it's just got white and pink leaves. It's so pretty because of the print. You can't see the princess seams, but I'll show you how the seams look inside when I turn it the other way. And you can see my V here and the neckband is just wider. Fits the same, the sewing technique is the same. It's just that the V neckband is slightly wider to just bring it up a little, you know. This is because I'm doing it as I sew. If I had planned my V neckline before cutting up my fabric, I would have modified the scoop and, and made the V not so low. And then I would have used my regular neckband, but hey, anything is possible. And then it's just a lot of seams, you know, I have my center front on the fold and I add a seam on the back there. It always saves fabric when you add a seam at the back. This is how it looks inside. You can see the V-neck band right there, very neat. Princess seams right there. They fit so well. Then it goes in at the waist. So you have three pieces on the front. And at the back, I have four pieces, side back, center backs, and the other side back, princess seams. Very nice, I've done my binding there with the same fabric, ITY, super neat. Didn't take long to make at all, especially because I know the fit, I didn't have to change anything. I did take a little extra time making it a V neckband instead. The round neckband would have taken so little time to do. So let's just see that on with shoes. <laughs> That's all the styling I do. I'm not a fashionista as such. I just put on a pair of shoes, so let's see. This is my talent dress from Itch to Stitch. This is a pattern I've made in the past. I've made it for the third time. This is a size 14 with a regular bust option. There is a full bust option. This is a tropical print ITY. There are princess seams in the front and the back and they contribute to an amazing fit. Brings it in at the waist. Here up closer, you can see the shaping in at the waist and how good it is at the small of the back. There's no excess fabric there. The shaping is already built into the seams. The original neckline is round. I made mine a lower V and drafted my own neckband for it. The original has long sleeves. It's just too hot here so I made mine sleeveless. Up closer I'm very happy with how this neckline works and arm whole feet has great cover which is what I always want in all my sleeveless styles. I love 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 this tropical print, the navy blue background. It's such an easy to wear style that always makes me feel amazing and I'm so happy I revisited this pattern and made it again. I would make 20. Great pattern. I love it. It's amazing. It's one of my favorites. This is also a dress you will see styled with something else in the next couple of days so you will see both of these dresses again. I hope this video was helpful. Just think outside the box, maybe sometimes you can change a neckline, don't think you can't. I have so many resources showing you how to do this on the channel. This is why I say my channel is about sewing, limitless sewing, because what the pattern offers you is amazing but it doesn't really need to be the end of what you're going to do with the pattern you can always take it further and I love that I just love that every time I get to put my own twist on something it just makes me extra happy I'm really excited to share these dresses with you have a look at some woven dresses that you've made in the past maybe you want to try them with a knit maybe change the way you're doing the neckline to have a look at your sizing if it's going to be appropriate and have fun, have fun experimenting. Don't forget about the sale at Itch to Stitch. Ends on Monday, 25% off site-wide with the code THANKS2021. My affiliate link is down below. And I will see you again very soon with more sewing. Bye.